Welcome to Mass Guru Educational Services. If you are studying with us on Mass Guru channel for the first time or you have not subscribed to our channel, please kindly do so and don't forget to comment. This will help us to serve you better, especially when you're going to upload another video on this uh, platform. Today we are going to discuss um, the mean using the Azum mean method. Uh, median and mode of a grouped distribution that is unit 7 of uh, course material a to it's 2 1 statistical method 1 so we're going to discuss this um, using the questions that are taken from uh, February March 2018 and November 2018 so we have these two questions taken from them so we're going to use um okay be the first one we're going to pick the first one and then the second one i'm going to leave it for you to solve on your own please don't uh, skip this you can try it to know that you have uh, understood what we are going to discuss so please do your work all right we are going to first of all compare the direct method of calculating mean and the use of assumed mean to calculate the mean okay for instance if we are given um, two five three two eight to calculate the mean we simply add up two uh five three two eight and divide it by the number of data we have here one two three four five and that will be over five which will be um 2 plus 5 that we give um, 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 12 plus 8 it to be equal to 20 and 20 over 5 will be equal to 4 all right so let's try to use uh, assume mean to calculate the mean of this uh, distribution again and see now in using assuming any number at all can be used as your assumed mean you can use a number that is part of the score in the distribution given like we have two five three two eight you can choose any one as your assumed mean and you can even choose as uh, external score for instance, you can choose 9, you can choose 10, you can choose 20, anything at all, any number of your choice you can choose. But look for a number that you can work with effectively. That is just the target. So here, to clear the doubt, I want to use, um, okay, um, let's say 10. I want to use 10 as my assuming. So let's have that down. The assuming I'm using is equal to 10. Now, if I want to find the true mean now, I will have to calculate the deviation of the assumed mean from the score I have here. So I will have to subtract uh, 10 from each of these scores. That is 2 minus 10. I'm going to have minus 8 5 minus 10 I'm going to have minus 5 3 minus 10 I'm going to have um, minus 7 2 minus 10 I'm going to have minus 8 then um, 8 minus 10 I'm going to have minus 2 so here I have minus 8 here I have minus 5. So the next thing is to add up all these uh, 
deviations together so I have minus 8 plus minus 5 which will be minus 5 plus minus 7 which will be minus 7 plus minus 8 which will be minus 8 plus minus 2 which will be minus 2 and this will give me um that should be 30 negative 13 right negative 13 so the next thing is to divide this by the number of data i have the number of scores i have and that will be negative 30 over 5 because i have five scores in this uh, distribution so i'm going to have negative 30 over 5 and this will give me negative 6. for me to get the assume i mean the the main mean now the true mean i will have to add this um, estimation to that of the assuming that is 10 plus minus 6 and 10 plus minus 6 is equal to 4. so this is a formula for calculating the uh mean using the assuming the true mean is equal to assuming plus the sum of the deviation from of the assuming from the scores over the number of the scores in that in the distribution or when we have um, scores appearing more than one time more than one time we we use the true mean to be equal to assuming plus the sum of fd that is the frequency multiplied by the deviation over the sum of the frequency that is the total frequency like in this case now we have um, only two appearing two times we may ignore this and use the first um, uh, formula and see so we have the true mean to be equal to the assumed mean we use is 10 okay so 10 plus summation d the summation d is uh, negative 30 negative 30 over n the n there is a number of data in the distribution that is uh, 5 and we're going to have what 10 plus 30 divided by negative 30 divided by 5 we're going to have negative 6 and when we break the bracket we're going to have 10 positive times negative is negative and we have 10 minus 6 and 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 which is the same answer as what we got using the methods we have been using all right we are going to discuss the use of assume mean to find the mean of a grouped distribution let's do that all right here we have the question we have to rearrange this uh, data that is why we have the table here so we're going to have uh, the the weights which is from uh, 40 to 49 yes uh, we have a uh, 50 to 59 we have a uh, 60 to 69 70 to 79 80 to 89 
90 to 99 100 to 109 all right so the next thing to do is to find the class mark the class mark or uh, is the average of this uh, class interval so we're going to have a class mark so we're going to have 40 plus 49 then divide it by 2 that is the average of the class interval there so we're going to have 44.5 50 plus 59 divided by 2 we're going to have uh, 54.5 60 plus 69 divided by 2 we're going to have 64 5 like that 74.5 84.5 94.5 then 104.5 now we have the class mark so the next thing to do is we have a, a frequency the frequency of the distribution is also given here the first uh, class we have uh, 9, the second class 2, the third class 22, 30, 17, 4, and 16. Alright, we are going to look for the deviation of our zoom mean from this course, the class mark we have here. So we have to um choose a class i mean assuming i'm going to choose a assuming now you can choose anyone you can take uh, 94.5 okay or 44.5 let's choose the first one anyone any one of your choice so assuming for this uh calculation we're going to choose 44.5 all right don't forget to uh identify it uh, using any means okay all right so we're going to do that the score that is the class mark now minus the assume mean and that will give us the deviation that will be equal to the deviation all right, let's do that. 44.5 minus 44.5. This will be equal to zero. 54.5 minus 44.5. All right, we're going to have 10. 64.5 minus 44.5. That is the assuming. Don't forget, we give 20. 74.5 minus the assuming 44.5 it will give 30. 84.5 minus 44.5 the assuming we're going to have 40. 94.5 minus the assuming which is 44.5 I'm going to have 50. Then 104.5 minus 44.5 we're going to have uh, 60. All right. Now we're going to find FD, final stuff here. The FD means we multiply the frequency by the deviation. Frequency multiplied by the deviation of the assuming from the uh, class mark or the score. So 9 times 0, 0. 2 times 10. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. Then we have uh, 22 times 20. We're going to have uh, 440. 30 times 30. We're going to have um, 900. 17 times 40, we're going to have um, 680. 4 times 50, we're going to have uh, 200. 
16 times 60 that will be 960 right yes 916 so we're going to sum our frequency together summation f summation f that is 9 plus 2 plus 22 plus 30 plus 17 plus 4 plus 16 100 and uh, when we add all these summation fd 20 plus 440 plus 900 plus 680 plus 200 plus 960 we're going to have uh, 3200 okay 3200 All right now let's use our formula the true mean is equal to assuming plus the sum of summation that is summation fd over summation f all right assuming is 44.5 don't forget So whatever you use as your zoom in is what you bring here. Then plus summation FD is equal to 3,200. 3,200 over 100, which is the summation F. So we're going to have 44.5 plus... 3,200 divided by 100, we're going to have 32. So the true mean is going to be 44.5 plus 32. And that is going to give us um, 76.5. 76.5. All right, any time, any day, this is how you calculate the true mean using the assume mean method. Now let's discuss our next target. We are going to calculate um, the median. The median. All right. All right, we have um, the class represented this way on the table now we're going to find the class boundary the class boundary you remember how we did this in uh, understanding the statistical table please if you have not uh, watched that video you can search for it and then acquaint yourself with that before you continue this uh, lesson so you will understand it well so the class boundary for this we're going to have 39.5 to 49.5 49.5 to 59.5 what we are doing simply is Take half from the lower class mark and add it to the upper class mark. Then we have um, 59.5 to 69.5. 69.5 to 79.5. Seventy nine point five to eighty nine point five, eighty nine point five to ninety nine point five, ninety nine point five to one hundred and nine point five. So we have uh, the class boundary. 
Then the next uh, target is fix the frequency, the frequency of the distribution, 9 to 22, 30, 17, 4, and uh, 16. All right. We still need one more column. Uh, this time around, we're going to look for the cumulative uh, frequency. The cumulative frequency column. All right. We're going to have uh, 9 plus 2. We're going to have 11 plus 2 into 2. We're going to have uh, 33. 33 plus 30, we're going to have um, 63. 63 plus 17, we're going to have uh, 80. 80 plus 4, 84. 84 plus 16, we're going to have 100. Right, whenever we are to find the median of a grouped distribution this is what we use the median median will be equal to the lower class boundary of the median class plus we open a bracket we find the number of data in the distribution the number of score that is the total frequency we divide it by two then subtract the cumulative frequency before the median class then we divide everything by the frequency of the median class and then multiplied by the class weights the class widths w or you can use c to represent the class widths all right at this point okay we need to know the class i mean the lower class boundary of the median class we have not even identified the median class let's do that quickly we identify the median class uh, by simply divide the total number of frequency by 2 that is um, 100 over 2 which will be 50 all right so we look at the 50th position on the cumulative uh, frequency column the class that falls to that okay more than 33 50th position will be around here okay the 50th position will be around here so we trace it to the class we have there so this is the median class 70 to 79 that is the median class take note of that now that we have identified the median class we can now pick the lower class boundary of the median class now which is going to be um 69.5 69.5 all right we open the brackets the total number of frequency is 100 100 over n sorry 100 over 2 then we subtract the cumulative frequency before the median class now before the median class the cumulative frequency is 33 so let's put that there 33 that is this then we divide everything by the frequency of the median class this time around is the frequency of the median class we're concerned with frequency of 
frequency of the median class, which is 30. And then we multiply everything by the class width. The class width is equal to, remember how we identify the class width then. The class width, let's say C, is equal to the upper class boundary, 49.5, minus the lower class boundary, 39.5. You can use any of the classes we have there. The answer will still be the same. You can see that the class width will be 10 throughout. So that will be multiplied by 10. Let's move on. Let me change my pen quickly. All right, so we have um, 69.5 plus 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50 50 minus 33 then over 30 we have to follow the rule of board mass let's um, finish up with what we have in a bracket first 69.5 plus 50 minus 33 50 minus 33 we're going to have 17 so we're going to have 17 divided by 30 and then multiplied by 10 all right so we have 69.5 plus 17 divided by 30 let's do that quickly 17 divided by 30 that is 0 0.57 approximately 0 0.57 times 10 remember we have to finish up with multiplication before we add so we have 69.5 plus 0 0.57 times 10 is 5.7 and then the median is going to be 69.5.5 times sorry plus 5.7 and this will be equal to 75.2 75.2 this is the median. The median of the distribution is 75.2. Now, the last one, the mode of this distribution. All right, we're going to use this for the mode of the distribution. Same way, we're going to have our weights. This is even the main question calculate the modal weights so we're going to have our weights 40 to 49 50 to 59 60 to 69 70 to 79 80 to 89 90 to 99 100 to 109 okay all right we still need the class boundary for our mode. So we have class boundary. Please remember this is class boundary. Take notes. As a class boundary, so let's. Uh, oh, this is too bold. Or boundaries so take note of that we are going to have um, 39.5 to 49.5 so let's quickly fix through all right so we have uh, the class boundaries this way 
so let's fix the frequency quickly 9 to 22 30 17 4 and uh, 16 all right all right in um calculating the mode we do not need the cumulative frequency here so we have to make our table smaller so anytime we are to calculate a mode of a distribution uh, the mode is given as the lower class boundary of the modal class we add it to the difference between the frequency of um, the modal class and the class before it now is uh, data one we divide it by the sum of the frequency of the modal i mean the difference between the modal class and the class before it as well okay and that of the class after it then we multiply it by the class width c or w okay let's use w this time around which means the class width now listen attentively to this again this l1 simply means the lower class boundary of the modal class let's quickly identify the modal class here the modal class is the one with the highest frequency so that is 30 so it means the modal class is 70 to 79 and the lower class boundary of um, this modal class is 69.5 so we bring it here 69.5 then we are going to add this to the difference between the frequency of this modal class and the class before the modal class this is a class before the modal class so the frequency the difference between the frequencies we have here 30 minus 22 that is 30 minus 22 and that will give uh eight so we go here and put it down eight then over sorry let me arrange it well eight over the same thing the difference between the frequencies of the modal class and the class before it which is still eight right then we add it to the difference between the modal class and the class immediately after it which is this class after the modal class we have 80 to 89 and the frequency of that class is equal to 17 so we have uh, 30 minus 17 and 30 minus 17 we give um 13 okay 13 so we put that here 13 then the class which remains which is the difference between the class boundaries you have here of any class 49.5 minus 39.5 you're going to have uh, 10 can try any class boundaries it will still be the same all right let's move on so we have um, 69.5 plus 8 over 8 plus 13 we give uh, 21 then we multiply it by 10 so we have 69.5 plus 8 divided by 21 8 divided by 21 
approximately 0 0.38 0 0.38 times 10 so we're going to have 69.5 please do not do the mistake of adding this before you multiply by 10 you have to follow the law of board mass right so bracket order of division multiplication addition and subtraction so you have to to multiply first before you add so you have uh, plus 0 0.38 times 10 you're going to have 3.8 and when you add this you are going to have 69.5 plus 3.8 and this will give 73.3 73.3 and that is the modal weight the modal weight is 73.3 it is given in kilogram I have to fix the unit all right you have this question to try out using the methods we have used so far please don't forget to subscribe to our channel subscribe 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 share and um, comment thank you for watching and thank you for studying with us